Hey, what's going on? Nick here from SVS. We are at Axbona 2024, and uh, this is one of the biggest shows that we've ever had because we are unveiling our brand new SVS Ultra Evolution series of speakers. This is really the uh, culmination of everything that we've achieved as far as speaker design since uh, we made our first efforts about 15 years ago. Uh, I'm standing next to uh, what's called our Ultra Evolution Pinnacle Tower. This is the flagship tower speaker from our series. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of technology stories. We really wanted to push the limits as far as material science, cabinet architecture, and, uh, and voicing, and, and just the whole process of designing a loudspeaker. We, we really wanted to take a no-holds-barred approach, and, and that's what this is. It's sort of the uh, culmination of the life's work of our engineers and, and everyone who has uh, been passionate about uh, building products for SVS. And I think the, the first thing that a lot of people notice is this uh, curved front baffle on the front of the loudspeaker. And, uh, you know, we didn't invent this design technique. It's called acoustically centered time alignment. Uh, but what we're doing is bringing it uh, at a price point that's a little bit more attainable and that hasn't been available uh, before. And really, there's, a, there's an acoustic benefit to this. It does look cool. Don't get me wrong. I think it's uh, a really sexy look. But uh, essentially what we did is the sonic, sonic emanation point of the front of the tweeter is the very tip of the dome. And we've aligned that with the inner part of the diaphragms of the mid-range and the woofers. And essentially, by drawing a vertical line, all of those sonic emanation points would be aligned. And when the speaker is playing, it allows the sound from all of those to reach your ear at the exact same instant. And the benefit of that is providing just a really rock solid image. You're able to sort of see sound in space with your ears in a much more effective way. Um, and typical loudspeakers will do it with the crossover, but by aligning them actually physically, you create this sort of point source effect from the front of the speaker that provides a nice broad sound stage, but also that rock solid imaging that I was talking about with just you know pinpoint accuracy. So the next thing uh, we really wanted to improve upon from the original Ultra Series was the tweeter design. Uh, we've maintained an aluminum dome tweeter, but what we've done is using a process called vapor deposition, which is something that's only been around for about the last five or 10 years. We've applied a layer of diamond carbon to the outside of that aluminum dome tweeter. And essentially what that has allowed us to do is bring that breakup frequency well beyond the levels of human audibility. Like I'm talking 40,000 hertz where, you know, dogs can really appreciate it. But when you're listening to things like the crash of a cymbal, you know, with, uh, with hi-fi music or, you know, the screeching car tires, there's no breakup. It's just... Um, airy, effervescent, and you don't get any of that sort of harshness or sibilance that you can get uh, sometimes from a, just a traditional metal dome tweeter. So this was a really big uh, step forward for us. And, uh, you know, we are SVS. We know a little bit about subwoofers. So we had to do something with the woofers as well to approve upon the, uh, the previous series. So you'll notice there's uh, eight inch drivers at the top and the bottom of this cabinet. Uh, if you look on the rear part of the cabinet, there's corresponding eight inch woofers on the back side of the cabinet. And essentially what we've done is we borrowed a design technique from our 3000 micro subwoofers, where these are arranged in a force balance array. So this has a couple of uh, interesting effects by doing it this way. For one, they're moving in parallel, so they move in and they move out together. And that creates a cancellation of energy within the cabinet, so you get no vibrations, none of that resonance that you would get uh, by having a single woofer. It cancels itself out within the cabinet. Uh, externally, it actually reinforces the base. So when you have a pair of tower speakers like we have here, you essentially have eight woofers all firing in different directions within the room. And this creates a nice, smooth, even bass response throughout the listening area, helps cancel out or smooth out some of those room modes, and just gives you really effortless, authoritative bass uh, that can fill your listening room. And you know, we'll never say you don't need a subwoofer, but these things are very capable. They're rated down to about 24 hertz, so you're gonna get most of that you know, deep, effortless bass that you want from almost any kind of music. And certainly you can reinforce it with a sub, but uh, you know they do really, really well even without one. Um, and then there's some other little design uh, elements that I think show that we really wanted to leave no stone unturned. Uh, one of my favorite things, and uh, I get mocked because you know it's like, how big of a deal is this really? But I just think it's kind of cool is the tweeter diffuser. And essentially what we did was we went through about 25 different prototypes of tweeter diffusers to get to this organic cellular lattice structure. This is actually based on natural cell patterns. It's semi-irregular, uh, but what we wanted to do was create the best dispersion characteristics both vertically and horizontally 
with the tweeter. And so by having this cellular pattern, it tested through FEA analysis to be the most effective at creating those dispersion characteristics that we were really looking for from this MTM sort of uh, array that we have here. Uh, we've also, you know, another small thing, but uh, I think important for a lot of audiophiles, we've gone with the neodymium magnet cabinets here, or uh, sorry, front grills. So you get a nice front baffle. It's got the nice curve to it. So if you want to run with uh, grills on, you can certainly do that. But if you don't, then you still have a nice uh, clean front baffle for the uh, Ultra Evolution Pinnacle. So, I mean, really, this is something where it is the life's work of our engineering team. We left no stone unturned. We think it's going to be a, an amazing success for us. Uh, we have three different finishes, the black gloss here. We have our first ever white gloss finish for the towers and then a black oak wood grain as well. Uh, there's seven speakers in the line, but we can head up next door where we have our home theater set up and we'll have more of the uh, models on display there so we can check those out too.